Hello, and welcome back to Coin Lady Channel. We're hovering at 50 cents right now, and we've gone as low as 49 cents so far today. But I believe the tide is about to flip in this market. In today's clip, we'll discuss this very topic. For the time being, I disabled Great, Great World due to events in Israel. When we establish peace in that area, I will retrieve it. Many unarmed civilians are being slaughtered. And somehow, some way, peace will be discovered. Hyperinflation, the most significant election in US history, widespread layoffs, bankruptcies, unemployment, rising conflicts in the Middle East, and banks using blockchain technology for cross-border payments XRP are all things that some traders are completely ignoring in favor of TA. That's why current events are what I focus on showing you in my films. For the first time in history, these crypto events correlate with real-world happenings. The widespread dismissal of hyperinflation is another issue. But I anticipate that we will encounter that in the future. Also, I haven't used the same technique I did when I first started learning about cryptography because, well, you can probably guess what I found out. Nobody can call this market 100%, thus anyone doing TA is like a weatherman. They're accurate about half the time, and even when they're right, they were only guessing. That's why I tend to stick to topics that actually happen in the world. The most essential financial chart should probably be watched instead of news items about Israel while making investing decisions. This is the chart you should be following all day instead of the XRP chart. Because you may bet on a surge in equities and cryptocurrencies once the US dollar index begins to fall. We've reached a turning point, from which this may go either way. In all candor, I anticipate its eventual decline. But we'll just have to see what develops. That chart, however, is currently superior to the XRP chart. I can almost guarantee that once the DXY begins to drop, you'll look at the XRP chart and see it begin to rise, with small green candles appearing at first and maybe growing into larger ones as the DXY continues to fall. Pay close attention, XRP investors, for a major manipulation of the market is currently occurring. And it looks like the wealthy 0.10.01% elite and huge bankers are running the show. Is the price of XRP being manipulated, in the opinion of how many of you? All these ISO cryptocurrencies, such as XLM and XDC Algo, are currently trading at historic low values. And each time they make some initial progress upward, they quickly regress. In conclusion, I believe that the market is being suppressed by a small group of extremely wealthy individuals who currently dominate the cryptocurrency industry. However, I am confident that this will soon change, and that the market will once again be dominated by green candlesticks. Please share your thoughts in the comments area. There have been numerous claims of a formal partnership between BlackRock and Ripple. I'd like not see BlackRock affiliated with Ripple or XRP in any manner since I'm sick of hearing rumors about the company. Many believe that BlackRock will have a profound impact on the cryptocurrency industry. While this is true, the rules of the game will shift in a way that is not to your advantage. They intend to manipulate it in the same manner that the stock market is currently being controlled. In my opinion, retail investors will not be successful as long as BlackRock is in charge. The 400 plus members of your country's network identify themselves as the plumbing into these markets, but that's just my perspective. And when you consider how amazing this market is, you'll agree. Take a look at the financial institutions involved as well as any other businesses that may be involved. I thought you might find it interesting to know that I always imagined Ripple to be the one installing the pipes and drains outside. In the future, the switch must be turned on for XRP to pass through. When you hear the terms light switch and blockchain in the same sentence, you might expect a bolt of lightning to follow. Yet here we are, listening to JP Morgan discuss just that. In many respects, payments are equivalent despite the fact that you have no direct knowledge of the generators, the grid, or any of the operations that occurred behind the scenes to make it happen. So, will JP Morgan be the one to turn the lights on? No, I still think David Schwartz will win sometime in the future. Ripple has officially begun looking for a new chief financial officer. 
Throughout the company's strong worldwide momentum, business expansion, and navigating of regulatory challenges over the past two and a half years, we are grateful to Chris Christina for her leadership and contributions. We hope the next chapter of her life is as successful as the last one was for Ripple. And it's concentrating all of its energy on expanding its presence in the world's most promising markets. People were quick to point out the financial repercussions of her sudden departure. They can't seem to get their finances in order. And yet, we are wiser. I've demonstrated Ripple's robustness and highlighted some of the major developments surrounding it. And then they said that was why they decided against buying the Fortress Trust. I believe they abandoned the Fortress Trust contract due to security concerns that Brad is aware of. I anticipate a return to the topic once those problems have been addressed. Rift, though, is formidable. They are a growing company that is continuously on the lookout for new talent. Ripple has been quietly increasing its holdings in Bitstamp. At the moment, Bitstamp is negotiating with three major European banks to provide them with access to the Ripple cryptocurrency platform. If it isn't Rippled itself, it's partnered with a company that does employ RippleNet technology, in the future, that company will almost certainly adopt XRP as well. That's how you and I will amass immense wealth in the future. The world's biggest hotel chain is now taking XRP as payment. The cryptocurrency known as Ripple XRP has entered the travel and hotel business, further demonstrating its adaptability. As part of a larger plan, with the formal integration of XRP as a payment option on Shibala, a popular hotel booking platform frequently dubbed the Expedia, or of crypto's Airbnb, the cryptocurrency's reach has expanded well beyond the conventional banking system. This is the kind of news you were hoping for, after all. It demonstrates the practical utility of XRP as a means of payment for goods and services. And that development will persist over time. In this interim time, widespread use of cryptocurrencies is still a ways off. However, we are progressing towards that goal. What was happening with the debt clock was gradual, but visible. I was in the mood for the Lord's Day when I became aware of a mighty voice, like a trumpet, coming from behind me. The financial crisis in the United States, I fear, is about to reach biblical proportions. In the space of a month, BRICS has sold off $17 billion more in U.S. Treasuries. And that is something that will persist for the foreseeable future. Like I said earlier, if they keep this up, the DXY will eventually drop like never before. When that happens, the cryptocurrency and stock markets will both experience a dramatic uptick. A trillion dollars in text RP and Bitcoin markets are expected by Forbes, despite the imminent collapse of the US currency. So, I guess even Forbes is aware of the impending doom when it publishes stories like this one. Honestly, I've been discussing the US currency extensively over the past year. You know we're on a spending frenzy, I kept reminding him. The debt continues to grow. Meanwhile, BRICS are attempting to de-dollarize the United States. We've just stepped into yet another war, and all the money we've been shipping abroad lately has gone to the Ukraine. This nation is on the verge of collapse. And I mean, just take a look at our crumbling main cities. There are homeless people filling the streets, but we can't help them since our resources are being diverted elsewhere. See, and as that keeps happening, and as they keep spending, the US currency will continue to decline. Never doubt that we are now in World War III, there are several wars happening simultaneously in different parts of the world. In a matter of months, the world as we know it will have changed beyond recognition. I don't believe we've entered World War III. And I seriously doubt that we'll ever have World War III. What we're witnessing now is, in my opinion, a diversion of epic proportions. Please tell me the truth about what's happening behind the scenes. The way I see it, a CBDC is in our near future. Eventually, I imagine that will be the true focus of their construction efforts. Simultaneously, they are attempting to bring the current financial system to its knees. Instead of World War III, I believe we are at the start of the Great Reset. And we're moving fully into the digital age. 
In earlier clips, we covered this topic in detail. I brought it up again over the weekend in reference to traditional businesses like stores and banks, they're trying to force customers to pay for everything with their mobile devices and plastic. They'd rather have you buy everything online than accept cash since it's more convenient for them. That's why you should use cash for as many purchases as you can. Look at your utility bills, they probably tried to get you to sign up for automatic payments. It eliminates the need for currency. No longer do you even use paper checks. Your utility payments are automatically deducted from the account. Never mind that the less people use cash, the easier it is for a CBDC to be adopted. However, despite everything, we must maintain optimism and patience. Over the following couple of days, we'll keep an eye on the DXY check to see if it begins to rain. If things pan out, I anticipate a significant uptick in crypto's value, what with the advent of ISO and the possibility of a future SEC settlement that might cause a ripple effect. I know I'm driving up the cost of XRP, but I'm going to end this now. Please accept my gratitude for tuning in. Please like and subscribe my channel. See you later, bye.